Hey Scorpios and happy early birthday to you. So I'm taking a look at your love life to see what is going on for you guys. So Scorpio placements, this is your reading. If you are a cross watcher connecting to Scorpios, this may resonate for you as well. So Scorpios, let's go ahead and take a look at what's going on in your love life. So thank you so much. Show me what's going on for Scorpios, okay? The Hermit. Uh, I feel like you want someone to leave you alone. It could be a Virgo. Ace of Wands. I feel like they're trying to like <laughs> restart something or reignite something. Some of you could have somebody trying to like um like come on to you. I you just don't feel interested in some this person. Justice. It serves them right. So you you shut down and closed yourself off to someone. Knight of Cups, perhaps a Pisces, another water energy like you, Cancer, Scorpio. You also have Virgo and Libra here. Um, what I'm getting is that this person um, cares about you. This is somebody who feels like they've been making you offers recently. Um, you've been making it hard for them to reach you with the hermit. I feel like you've gone within. I feel like you are possibly trying to manifest a new love situation, a new person to deal with. Um, but you're dealing with somebody who's kind of like not so fast. I still love you. I know you still love me. We still have romantic feelings for one another. And so you've got a very persistent Knight of Cups energy showing up. Um, I feel like this person has been texting you, maybe calling you more frequently. This is something they possibly didn't do at the time you guys were together or you were giving them a chance because, you know, it feels as if you want this person to like, you, you don't feel like it's genuine. Um, the Ace of Wands with Justice, this is... It feels like you're on a new path or you want to be, okay? I feel like a lot of you want to close the door on this person they're making it hard though because they're showing up as very sincere scorpio show me this person who is this person scorpios is dealing with um <laughs> queen of pentacles this is the person you're connected to yeah, they're still invested. I, they're not. They're not going anywhere. <laughs> Basically, that's what they're saying. I'm not going anywhere. I'm invested in you. I'm loyal to you. I still want you. Again, could be an Earth energy, just very stable with you, or feels more stable with you than with anyone else. Um, Capricorn here, also Tur Taurus, Virgo. Uh, this is a person you may have a child with or children with. They're not over you. I'm, I mean, I'm getting that like they're, they're even like wanting to like marry you. Show me this person. They're financially abundant, but they've been emotionally absent for a lot of you. Naval wands. Yeah. So I get that this person, that's like the page of wands. They haven't really offered much, right? Like they, you, yeah, you thought they were successful and invested and ready to, um, to be, uh, in a relationship or to take this to the next level. And they just haven't. Um, this is someone who's very playful, someone who feels like despite the fact that they, they come up as a very great catch here, um, with a lot of potential, a lot of you were like, I haven't seen yet you know, what this person is, is going to do. And so that, you know, so you close them off. You're tired of playing games with them. They have something to say though. They're about to ask you out on a date. So this person is someone who's about to ask you out the chariot. Um, it feels as if this person wants to do something with you. You Look, the will of fortune has been here at the bottom of the deck, um, a few shuffles now. So I'm just getting this person is going to get their other chance with you, whether you're expecting to say yes or not. Um, I feel like you are going to say yes. You are going to give them another chance. Chance. There's a lot of persistence, drive and ambition in an individual like this. They refuse to say they, they refuse to take no for an answer. And I feel as if the issue with this person has been they haven't gone big enough. They haven't really 
mm, giving you a, a offer of your caliber, right? And so you guys were like, no, basically. Let's get some more information about this. I feel like you're dealing with somebody who could need more confidence too. They're working on that. But let's see what else is going on. <laughs> okay. So you have the master. That's the devil. The tower. All right. That can represent Scorpio energy. The ten of potions, ten of cups. The knight of potions, knight of cups. They are, you are dealing with a knight of cups. They got some money though, or they got like a great job or a couple of great jobs. They could have a, a really successful business. Uh, so basically this person just had a breakthrough. I need to be more affectionate. I need to show Scorpio more love. I need to be more serious here. They were being too playful, basically. Um, I feel like you're dealing with a person for some of you. It's an age thing. They're, they're younger than you or, um, it's a, they've been divorced before and they were just having fun. But I feel like the tower is where you guys shut them out. That feels like your tower moment with them. You shut them out and they started getting very serious. The situation involves a lot of love though. A lot. The situation involves um, mutual love. The situation involves both of you still wanting each other. You're just like letting them know you're not an option. Seven of uh, potions. Seven of cups energy here. What are their feelings for you? You could be done with a Capricorn. What are this person's feelings for you? Mm -hmm. Queen of Wands. So this has kind of been an issue or a blockage in the connection. You're hot. <laughs> um, and so basically what I'm getting is that this person was almost just like so excited to be dealing with you, connected to you. They got hung up on your looks. They got hung up on your sex appeal. They got hung up on your, your intensity here and how it made them feel as a knight, right? And not just a knight, a knight of potions. I feel like, you know, this person fell in love with you. And I, I feel like you could, you could pick that up. You saw it. You felt it. But the, the actions weren't matching here. And so I do feel with the chariot showing up again, um, it's, it's been here twice now. This is not someone who intends to slow things down or stop things with you. They're actually planning to pick things up, accelerate some action. Um, they're most likely going to reach out to you soon, invite you somewhere soon. Maybe a costume party, um, the queen of candles here. But I do feel like this person just felt like kind of so lucky to have you. They felt like maybe they didn't need to do anything else. Their lust, though, and their like their playful nature is getting them in trouble with you. Like you want more. Their intentions are the seven of potions, the seven of cups. Uh, this person needs some direction. For sure. <laughs> There's the suspension, the hangman. They kind of don't know what to do without you. That's what I'm getting. Um, and it's literal, right? They're like, what do you want me to do? What do you want me to offer you? Um, I just feel like this person needs some direction here. Let me get more on them. Um, their intentions with this seven of potions, the justice. Yeah. So for your situation, you had justice, ace of wands, justice, a new, um, Sure, a new perspective, but also just realizing the truth, being inspired by, um, you know, I feel like some of you may have gotten inspiration at a, a wedding recently and you were like, I want that. Or maybe your person went to a wedding and they were like, I want that with Scorpio. And so I feel like they need a little direction, but they're going to get on the right track with you. With that seven of potions and justice, this person won't stay in a state of confusion very long. They're going to be decisive here. All right. They're going to figure this out. And I feel like them figuring it out involves them having you. OK, but not taking you for granted. Right. Sure. You're hot. You're out of their league. But um, I just overall get an energy from this person that um, they need you. That's how they feel. You know, there's a strong need here for you. So 
that's what I have for you, Scorpios. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. And if you are interested in booking a personal reading with me, check out the details in the description box.